Good evening, Anthony Murphy from Mythical Ireland. And if you've been following the channels today, you'll know that I've been talking about a special announcement. Well, the time has come to make that announcement and let's just cut straight to it. Um, delighted, thrilled to announce that my first book, Island of the Setting Sun, In Search of Ireland's Ancient Astronomers, which has been out of print since around 2011, is finally being republished uh, this year in 2020 uh, and uh, should be available uh, by midsummer. So here is a first edition copy of Island of the Setting Sun, um, published in 2006, followed by a revised and expanded edition published in 2008. Um, it's very easy to tell them apart. In the revised edition, this row of pictures is further up and there's a, a, a red star here saying revised and expanded edition. Um, the last copies that sold in the shops probably about nine years ago. In the meantime, a lot of people have been looking for it. Um, and if you try to buy it second hand, Generally speaking, on Amazon, the prices are, let's just say, a little bit extreme. So, for instance, I'm just looking at the first edition, which is a different ISBN number. Uh, and there are a number of copies available on Amazon. Now, there's one there for €19, Euro, which is extremely cheap. So, if you're um, interested in a rare first edition copy of Island of the Setting Sun, I suggest you get onto Amazon right now. But the prices range up to as far as 684 euros. And the uh, second edition uh, copy that's available is actually 837 euros, which I think is the equivalent of $899. Uh, Liffey Press will republish. Um, I don't think it won't be massively revised. We're not looking to expand it. Um, I, I will probably make certain corrections to the text. There are a few things that I would like to correct in it. So this isn't going to be a massively changed book in any way. It's going to try to faithfully reproduce the original as closely as possible. Uh, it will have a similar cover. Um, I, I may update the pictures on it. The price will be 35 euros, uh, whatever the equivalent is in dollars or pounds sterling. Um, to this day, it remains my largest publication in terms of its word count and in terms of its breadth. Um, it runs to about 100,000 words. Um, just after sort of the, at the time it was going out of print I published another book with Liffey which is Newgrange Monument Immortality that was published first in 2012 and later reprinted and then I suppose the most significant update to the material in Ireland of the Setting Sun was with Mythical Ireland um, which was published in uh, 2017 um, so there's I mean, I don't think there's any great point in trying to massively overhaul Ireland. Um, apart from the couple of the few little errata, I think I should probably try to yeah, reproduce the second edition, the revised edition, as much as possible. Because Mythical Ireland, in its own right, is a fairly substantial work, but just not quite having the breadth of Ireland and setting so on. And then, of course, the latest, uh, which was published last year in 2019, uh, is the book about Drone Henge discovered by myself and Ken Williams. Island was the result of a collaboration between myself and uh, Drogheda-based artist Richard Moore. And his input was significant because in those early days of research, I didn't know much about the mythology and Richard didn't know much about the astronomy. And we bounced off each other very well and I thought we worked very well as a partnership it's the only time, actually, uh, anything I've published has been done um, as a partnership or a duo. Um, it received tremendous reviews, um, and uh, I hope you don't 
mind me saying this, but it has become a bit of a classic in certain circles. People who are interested in the ancient past, people who are interested in mythology and, and folklore, uh, people inter interested in archaeology, cosmology, astronomy, alignments, all that sort of stuff. They seemed to um, be um, stirred by it, you know. Uh, it seemed to evoke something in people. It was a natural sort of um, combination or crossover of disciplines for me because it's it seemed to me that what was lacking in terms of publications about prehistoric monuments in Ireland was the the mythical, the mystical, the religious and the spiritual, but also the cosmological. And I'm, I'm talking about more than just the, the sort of the, the, the creation myth aspect of the monuments, which I cover quite a lot in my work. I'm talking about that link to cosmos, that sense that in prehistory, the people who built these monuments felt that there was a very substantial connection between earth and sky. And uh, I suppose that's exemplified in at Newgrange, where the monument is pierced by the beam of sunlight at winter solstice. And in the mythology, Dogda, who's very much a solar deity, um, you know, uh, mates with Bowen to create the miracle child Angus Og. And Bowen, to me, represents, as well as the river and the Milky Way and the moon, uh, sort of a, like a, a, a goddess who's cyclical, she also represents the womb of the earth and the, uh, you know, the cyclical nature of human life, uh, birth, life, death, rebirth, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, 2006 seems like a, a long time ago now, <laughs> For me, I have to say, um, and yet it the time has all passed in the blinking of an eye. Uh, published another, um, I had to think about that for a second. Another five books. In the meantime, I have another book written, uh, and I'm investigating getting it published. And in the meantime, I actually have started. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, I have started work on, uh, book number. Eight. Eight. So there are six published. There's a seventh book, written, finished, edited, proofread, being examined by a literary agent. And there's an eighth book in process. The two works of fiction were Land of the Ever Living Ones, my novella, which was my first foray into fiction, and The Cry of the Sebok, which is a short novel. Um, probably, uh, although I didn't market it, so probably best aimed at uh, the young reader. So anyway, as soon as I have firm news about dates, of course, I'll keep you posted. But, and I will, of course, well in advance of the publication, I will be taking pre-orders on the Mythical Ireland website at mythicalireland.com. Um, and they will obviously be signed copies. My publisher's talking about something like an, a 2020 anniversary edition, although it's 14 years, it's not... It's not exactly a perfect anniversary by any means, or maybe even a limited edition. Um, so again, when we have those details ironed out, I'll let you know. But I'm really, really thrilled. And I spoke to Richard Moore uh, in recent days. Uh, you know, when I, you know, learned, I mean, this has been in the offing for a while and I've been discussing it with Liffey Press for a while, you know, about the possibility of republishing. The fact of the matter is that in the past uh, five or six years, I've had probably a couple of hundred inquiries from people about where can I get a copy of Island of the Setting Sun? And I've had to disappoint them and say, well, the only copies that you can get are the secondhand ones and they were generally very expensive. Um, so uh, Liffey Press has also received a lot of emails from people asking them, you know, is this still in print or where can I get it? Uh, so finally, it's going to be back in print uh, uh, very soon. Well, very soon being um, looking at maybe May, uh, certainly before midsummer, hopefully before summer solstice. Now that's five, the best part of five months away. It might sound like a long time, but it's a short enough time in terms of uh, uh, getting books published. The new edition will feature uh, a brand new preface. I will write an entirely new preface. 
uh, based around you know the reaction to the book and how it has um, captured the imagination and how it has led to so many other things so many other works uh, of uh, uh, published works and also then how it has led me on, on a path um, of exploration through the ancient landscape of Ireland and its myths and astronomical alignments and to be honest with you that hasn't not only has that uh, not ceased in any way or waned in any way that activity has only increased over the years so meeting Richard Moore in 1999 which I wrote about in the early chapters of the Drone Henge book and I described my whole pathway into it and I think you'll be interested and in, hopefully you'll be interested in that story there um you know, ignited a very exciting journey, which lasted until the publication of Ireland at the end of 2006, but which never stopped after that. I mean, uh, I've often said that most writers would have been perfectly happy to have, have published a book like this. And, and if it was the only thing they'd ever published, they'd be perfectly content. But I, I have continued and I hope that I can continue long into the future. In the meantime, uh, if you'd like to support my work in any way, I am continuing to make, uh, to create blog posts, podcasts, videos, and of course to take my photography. Uh, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash mythical Ireland, where you can become a patron of Mythical Ireland, support what I do, make a little pledge, give me a few dollars a month, and you get rewards for that. Uh, so my patrons uh, were uh, alerted to this uh, breaking news uh, this morning uh, before anyone else. In the meantime, if you want to catch up on any of the news, I'm on Facebook, which is where the most regular updates happen, and that's facebook.com forward slash mythical Ireland. So look, very much looking forward to getting Island of the Setting Sun back into print by summer 2020. In the meantime, I am very busily working away on my next book, uh, which will be the subject of another video coming up soon. Thanks very much and good night.